Hi guys, I'm Sam, and lions don't roar. Or rather, a lion's roar doesn't sound like you think it does. Most people think lions sound a little bit like this, but that isn't actually a lion's roar. You see, it comes from an entirely different animal. And this confusion all comes down to one guy, Mark Mangini, who worked for MGM back in the 80s. Good morning. MGM have been using lions in their intro slate since 1916, before movies even had sound. And for 12 years, the lion was totally mute. So in 1928, the lion gets its voice, and it was the voice of a lion. I'm a happy man! And that's all well and good, until 1982, when Mark Mangini decides he wants the intro to be more ferocious and majestic, and he realizes that this lion hardly sounds majestic. So he replaces the king of the jungle's roar with that of a predator that actually lives in a jungle, a tiger. And since then, everyone has been terrified of this noise. Hello, I'm Tigger. <laughs> and assumed it was a lion. But how long actually are they? And what does a lion sound like? Well, that's something I found out a few years ago when I stayed overnight at Whipsnade Zoo. I woke up to all sorts of weird noises, but I couldn't place one of them. And after a lot of thinking, I went and asked what was making that noise. And it turned out it was a lion. Mm. So now you know you've been living a life your entire life. Kind of devastating. So the moral of the story is essentially don't judge a book by its cover. Like and share with your friends. See you later, guys.